Well, that's my model of main road. Uh, that's the, the most physical memory certainly I've got of the stadium from the old days. And what does main road mean to me? I've got so many memories. Great games, of course, great players. But as much as anything else, uh, for me, there are memories of lots and lots of other things. So many great memories of Main Road from the annual Bannon Parade. I was a lot younger there, wasn't I? Or whether it was on the gantry when I was the original commentator for the club videos or the on-pitch announcer here receiving uh, a send-off from Dennis Stewart just before I started being a commentator for the BBC here with Jimmy Wagg, Arthur Orbison and Peter Barnes at Main Road. I have sailed off the roof of Main Road. That was fun. And of course, there was the Junior Blues, uh, the annual pantomime when I played Prince Charzan and the Dame, starting off in the City Social Club right next to the ground, and up on the top tier of the Kipax with people like Chris Shuka, Carlo Nash, coming down as special guests. Great, great times. We had so many fun afternoons with the fans and the players alike. And then ultimately, at the closing of Main Road, I even got to play on the pitch. I wasn't very good but I did actually fulfil the chance to play on the sacred turf. Well, those are my memories of Main Road, and there have been lots of happy ones, I can tell you. I've also asked one or two fans, members of the Forever Blue gang, and also ex-players to tell me their memories. Feel free to add yours in the comments below. And of course, what did make Main Road for me was uh, the people, being there regularly, seeing people that you knew. It's as much a part of the football as actually the football itself. Anyway, here are a few memories of other people of the fantastic place where I first saw Manchester City play football. Hope you enjoy them. Well, first of all, make sure everyone is looking after themselves. We need all those City fans to be in good shape and good voice for when we do get back to our football. Back to Main Road. Um, I have to say, the one main occasion for me was um, leading up to the 76 League Cup final in the earlier rounds, November 75, when we played against Manchester United. And to be perfectly honest, it was a fantastic team performance that evening. We were three up at half time, went on to win 4 0, and then went on to win the League Cup in 76, which is another great moment for me. But made during that night with the, uh, the floodlights on, that kickback's end, 18,000 people supposedly. Sounded like 180,000. Fantastic support, great performance by the team, and then we went on to uh, to win that uh, trophy in '76, and obviously a special moment for me. But again, another occasion which the sad and, and emotional. As my term as a director, when we came to the final game and we had to leave Main Road and go to the new Etihad Stadium, but I was involved in that uh, movement. Obviously, very emotional on that last game. And it certainly was a last emotional day. I was honoured to host the Parade of Legends in the last game at Main Road. My years uh, going to Main Road, the 110 mile round trip from our home. Uh, those early days when Ellie cost 90p return on the bus and one pound ten to go in and a programme for 12 pence. You could really have a, a feast in the, in the cafe at Chilton Street bus station if you, if you went with three quid in your pocket before we took the, the bus home. I mean, the terrific days, they really were in the, in the 70s. And some of the games that stand out, my, my first on the Kip Axe, uh, Arsenal, 1-0, a Joe Royal Edda. That full said game against Liverpool, 3-1, absolutely destroyed them. Um, the fact they destroyed us by four fives and fours again in the following years, we, we, don't, we won't touch on that. European night, my first European night was AC Milan in the uh, UEFA Cup and they uh, won 3-0, went through. Uh, Mark and I celebrated long after the final whistle, so much so we missed the uh, the bus. And uh, his dad agreed to, buy once we got him rang him from a payphone, to pay for a taxi to get his own, um, which he did. And it cost him 60 quid <laughs> in 1979. I mean, how much is that today? Um... There's been some downers, of course, the, uh, the relegation against Luton Town, 1-0. That was a miserable day all round. But, of course, it came up again, 5-1 uh, against uh, Charlton a couple of years later. And the Kipax, that was the last time I remember the Kipax really being a, a, a massive body sway, swaying on the terraces. I recall that particular. Oddersfield, of course, 
How can you forget that? For the uh, 17 odd thousand that were there. My dad didn't go that day. Was, was he proper annoyed when he <laughs> let the score at the end of the day? 5 1, United, of course. A magical, a magical event. Um, we thought that Fergie was going to get sacked after that. If only. But the thing is, of course, with City, with the Kipax in particular, those memories you'll never see repeated at the Etihad or any stadium in, in modern day football. The ground was actually just basically built in the middle of a of a, of a housing, an old housing estate with terraced houses all around it. Something quite quite remarkable. And all the backyards of the houses, of course, faced um, the entrance to to the, the, the Kipak Street. And so um, in we went. And of course, uh, we didn't have enough money, actually, my brother and I, to, to pay for both of us to get into the ground. Um, so I paid the two shillings and sixpence, half a crown it was to, in those days to get in the ground. And my brother, younger brother, who was nine, he crawled in. Uh, my feet and uh, so we got two in for the price of one and we looked up at the, the steps the concrete steps that led up uh, to the top of the stadium and when you you know 11 and 9 year old kids those steps seem so steep and uh, there was a lot of them too and, and, and up we went but when we got to the top of the steps and we looked onto the ground it was something very special because um, Main Road it wasn't much of a, a, a football ground uh, in itself, but that pitch was magnificent. This game, of course, has been played under floodlights. It was a 7.30 p.m. kickoff, and the floodlights were on, shining onto, on the, on, onto that pitch, and that pitch seemed very, very green and very bright, and the main road had a certain smell about it, which I can't explain, like just the smell of the turf and everything like that. And it was an amazing, amazing thing. I'm going to put flowers down on, on car parking spot number 23 with my uncle Peter, who's, uh, who's a United fan, believe it or not. And he was kind enough to take me down as a as a nine-year-old boy and put some flowers down for Mark. And, you know, it's something that um, I'm glad I did and, and something that, you know, feels special. I got to see the, the stadium and went to the main entrance and looked at all the flowers and stuff. And just to see it was magical. Um, the other memory I've got on main road is off my favourite film, Jimmy Grimble. Well, Jimmy finally gets to play at the end. Um, him, Gordon, Psycho, Sweeper, the Cat, all of them. They're all playing on Main Road, um, you know, for, for Green at High School in the film. And you see the floodlights come on at night, at half, you know, after half time. And he's going up the steps with, um, you know, with um, with his family. And, you know, he's got Robbie Brewer there handing programmes out. And, you know, all them memories that I never got to. I never got to see, and I can imagine that happening every match. They obviously not Robbie Brewer and that, and Jimmy Grimble playing on the pitch, but all them 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 things in Main Road. You know, hearing the Kipaks uh, being mentioned a lot about how loud it was, and um, you know that was before it was obviously redeveloped, and then it was redeveloped and it was loud, and you know missing them moments is something that upsets me, but I still feel connected to Main Road in some way from my memories of watching us play at Main Road during that final season there. Um, and looking back at footage from seasons gone by, and just knowing how much of a, of a dedicated City fan I am, and how much I love the club, you know, I feel like you know it's my duty to to make sure that I I really find out about Main Road and and and, and you know remember the best times at, at Main Road. But yeah, Jimmy Grimble, something that cements the memories of Main Road, and something that you know I'm glad you guys got to see, and and what a magical stadium, and one that we'll never forget. For obvious reason, to score against the noisy neighbours in the three three. You can't even beat that. I had my Gaza-esque moment of my career when the ball got played into me, flicked it over Neil Webb, collected it the other side, played a 1-2 with Quinny and stuck it right past Jim Layton. Now, I've been criticised in my celebration, but there was no thought process at all going into that, the celebration at uh, Main Road. There was nothing ever entered my mind about anything like that. But to score against them, the disappointment thing, the disappointing thing about it all was that we only drew the game 3 3. But uh, Main Road, I mean, two great years of my career at Man City, two fantastic seasons. And I really did develop into a player that was able to be able to challenge and win things uh, later on in my career. Um, but yeah, that's my main road memories. Uh, I've got loads, loads and loads, but certainly 
that one is the one that stands out. Hope you're all well. Stay safe. I'll post some more memories of Main Road on future vlogs. But for now, this is as much a memory to me. It's signed by Gary Owen. It's a match one shirt from the 77-78 season. The first season really that I started my obsessive run of going to every game home and away. Happy memories. Hope you've enjoyed watching these as much as me. Big shout out to the three companies that have supported the products that I put out under the Forever Blue title throughout the year, the podcast and the vlogs. See you all soon.